um, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so in, you know, in Egypt, you know, different different Qurans, so it's, and I just wonder. It's different. What it's happened, quite. What happened yeah. in history between? Like the 10th century and today. So you see, from the very first century Al-Hijrah, from the time of the Prophet Sallallahu itself, yeah. there were different Kirats of the Quran. Now yeah. the Quran is still one in yeah. the sense that that is the key source, but it's got different Kirats, which is basically just a different modes of recitation, because there are so many different dialects at that time. Yeah, so, 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 so the angel Jibreel basically uh, was asked by the Prophet ﷺ himself as to give him more dialects or more modes of recitation that it'll be easy for the other tribes to recite him. Yeah. So it's still, it's still the source is still the same. So it's still from Allah yeah. through the angel Jibreel yeah. from yeah. and to the Prophet ﷺ. Yeah. There does seem to be that, um, uh, is it Uthman? Yeah, Uthman. Uthman. Yeah. He standardized, he standardized the Qurayshi dialect yeah. here. So, Obviously, you only wanted one Quran. Yeah. According to the scholar, it didn't actually work. So there was. No, no, no. It it's not that it didn't work. What do you mean it didn't work? Because afterwards, afterwards, apparently there was what? sort of up to uh, like 25 Qurans or something, and then. A couple, a couple there's still there's a one Quran, different Qurats, different recitations later. of that. Yeah, if that's the case, why would each time they go to such lengths to bring in these Qurans to get rid of them? I think the first time... But they were already there from the beginning, I told you. The different Qirats were already there from the time of the Prophet ﷺ himself. In fact, he was the one who asked Jibril, the angel, to bring him more... But again, time flows on. And when the angel Gabriel comes with your Quran, yeah. okay, but time moves on. So there's lots of different Qurans and they get burned by... Often. No, I think you got it all mixed up now. The burning, the burning of the wasn't of the Quran. It was the personal copies of the people. So yeah. for example, if they, they might have written the Quran themselves yeah. or they might have heard the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu and written it in the same place. So now many things were kind of mixed into their own okay. personal so, copies. So, yeah, so when, that new Quran, when that new Quran was created... So Sorry, what do you mean new Quran? I don't understand. Well, Can you if, qualify if that? There's, if there's other Qurans that, aren't, that they've heard that's been written down that isn't quite matching No, up. no, it's not other Quran. So let, let me ask you this, there is, for example, if you witnessed a particular event and your yeah. friend witnessed that particular event, yeah. the way both of you would narrate it would be different, right? Yeah, it's even though it's the same, even though it's the same event. Yeah, but if the Quran is quite perfectly preserved, that should happen, surely. No, the Quran is preserved, Mansur. No, 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 it's perfectly preserved, it should happen, surely. So, Brother Mansur, sorry. Oh, he has more information on this, that's why I called him. So, what you don't understand is the difference between the Quran itself and the yeah. Qirats of the Quran. So the Qirat were also authenticated by the Prophet himself. So maybe Mansur will be able to share. Okay. So he's, he's, he's saying, why were there like so many Qurans in the time afterwards, after the Prophet yeah. and not... Give to Mansur. Yeah, so basically, once, once Uthman's got his uh, uh, Quran, he's got his Qurans, 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 Okay, I'm assuming whoever, whoever all all the whoever, different kiras he was happy with. Whoever, whoever put this new one, this one together, that they, they was happy with. It seems like so the so the prophet. Like, it seems like a few years later. There's no, more, no, no, no. There's a lot more. What's around. what's your name? Dave. 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 The prophet sallallahu himself taught the companions the different modes of recitation. So it wasn't something new invented later on. Okay, so basically. Um, when when Muhammad said there's, it's come down seven times, so when you got different people reciting something slightly like different, and uh, Muhammad said it's come down seven times. Not seven times, and seven different modes, so seven, seven different kirats, yeah. Yeah. So that is. So how do? What's you wrong know with that? One is the correct one. All of them are correct. That's let's, very confusing. Actually, that, actually, let's, all, let's start with all, you. All, from all, your understanding. He'll be able to explain. Mansur will be able to explain. What do you understand by the process that the Quran was given to the Prophet and how he came to us? Just briefly explain what you know. No, no, I'm just, uh, I don't know much about the Quran as I've already mentioned to well, I don't know where he's gone now. Yeah, from yeah. what you know, and then we can then address any concerns that you may have. Yeah, I was watching a Muslim scholar talking about... He's talking about Yasser Khan. Okay, yeah. okay so... Um, who did you who did you watch? No, well, one was uh, Yasser Qadi and the other one was. Um, let's let's start with um, Yasser Qadi. Yeah, um, right. 
What did you watch? Anyway. Oh, no, no, it's not anyway. It's important no, no, because no, I think. No, no. It... I need to. Sorry, your main I sorry, Dave. Sorry, Dave. I sorry. I got questions. Dave, I would like to really get to understand what you know about the subject. I got, I got and so that's what I'm asking. From what you know, remember you mentioned you've seen or you heard something about uh, Dr. Yasir Qadi, right? So, what do you re recollect from what you know from Yasir Qadi? What I does he say? Yasir Qadi, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. as just basic looking, i.e. watching his discussion on YouTube. Sure. How, how he was discussing it was he didn't seem to believe that oral um, communication was reliable. Where did he okay. state that in his video? So, Stop okay, there, one point at a time. So no, no, no. No, no, no. no, no, no. Do you recollect a is phrase or a statement? Is that no. true though? Sorry, sorry. If you have watched a video of a professor or a, or a scholar explaining yeah. something, yeah. of course, it means that there's something that you have understood from it, yeah. which gives you the indication that yes, um, this is what he's saying. What do you recollect that okay. he said okay. that gives you the indication that, just be patient, that gives you the indication that the oral transmission is not reliable? Would you like to share? Okay. Because I've watched that interview too. Yeah. So, so, well, so at least both of us have seen the same interview. Well, so go ahead, well, what way, do you recollect? Well, the way I look upon it, um, when, I was a, when, I was in, when I was a kid in school. Just so, yeah, yeah. no difference between so, you and so me here. We, they, the teacher would play a game, and what she'd do is she'd write on a piece of paper something, she'd tell a little child something, and that child would tell the next person. By the time, and just maybe 20 kids in a class. At the end, the message was totally obliterated. The Chinese whispers, right? And so what she'd do is she'd show us yeah. what was she originally said. So it'd be different. Sure. Okay. Is this what Yasir now, Qadi was talking about? So I know you guys are scholars. Or no, we're not scholars. We are not scholars. And missionaries so whatever, would you mind coming back to Yasir no. Qadi? It's very important because everyone wants to learn now. Because you seem to have some issues and concern. Yeah. What of the statement so, of Yasir Qadi so, in Indicated to you yeah. that the oral transmission of the Quran is not reliable as you stated. Because the people like Chinese whispers, as it was. Did he explain yeah. that way? No, he didn't say Chinese whispers. So what did he explain? I'm not very, I'm not bright enough, to be honest, to gather all the details because I've already, which I've already said. Hmm. Okay, so I'm not saying anything. No, I, don't, I can't say about things I don't know. But the questions I have for you, gently... Stop, stop, please. Dave, Dave, sorry. Wait, 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 I apologize for interjection and interruption. I'm not going to move away from Yasir Qadi as his starting point. Oh, and then, and then, wait, wait. allow me to make my listen, point. Listen, no, 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 see. Please, allow me to make my point. You have stated... That now, I could ask you for clarification. Was this the interview that he had another, or another out of his... One second. No, no, out no, of his, excuse me, Dave, excuse me, Dave, Dave, it is not fair that you just throw a name on the table and you assume that everyone knows what they're talking about. Listen, so, so is, do you have any concern from Yasir Qadi or are you going I to move on to an next caller? What is your no, main no. objection with Yasir Qadi's statement? No, 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 no. I've been, I've, from what I've been told, that the, by who? By the Quran. Is, yes. Uh, okay, let, let me deal with down, it. It's come down Inshallah. in one. So we were spent, I was talking to someone completely different than yourself and other people. Why don't you now speak okay. to us now and we'll see what we so, understand. So, basically my, my primary concerns is, as I understand it, if I'm listening, yeah. okay, and I'm not a scholar. So okay? remember, so, recollect what you have listened. Oh, let me finish. Yeah. You, I'll let you talk a lot, okay? Oh, okay. Um, as I understand it, okay, the, Right. When um, Mohammed said seven times, seven ways of this uh, this presentation being done. So my point is, is, if that's supposed to make it more simpler, yeah, how is seven times more simpler than just the one? Because for them, sure. that, um, without explaining anything, let's go thing. to the bottom of the subject. Okay. So then, carry on. Okay, but what, 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 Worries me as well is when he went on to. Um, I know Uthman, it might have been the third caliph, is it? Yeah, is he the third caliph? When he burnt 
Qurans. What? non standard that, that is, that is, I mean, surely, I love it funny, but when I've, I've seen people get yelled at and protested at burning Qurans. The, 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 uh, the, different reasons the, we both don't let, Let's not even. No, my point is, the, the, the <laughs> one is malicious, burned. you know that. The Quran's being burned. Yeah, but this guy, for me, what this guy is doing, this caliph, it sounds malicious to me. Why? Because why would you burn Qurans? Unless you want to get rid of them. But you said you have resources, so why did he burn I, the Quran? Excuse me. I haven't read, I didn't say read, so you're putting things in my mouth. No, well, but you, you said he burned the Quran, so you must have read something, right? Well. Or you heard it from someone? Well, Which you know, one is it? You know. Where I've heard it from. I've just okay, seen it so on YouTube. Mostly, yeah. Okay, so that so that happens. Okay. okay, to put the Quran smaller again, then there's more. There's more. Well, Qurans no, 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 there's too many already. That's fine. In, in history, so then it gets codified into seven. So uh, I mean, I think so he's got the board. It goes, sorry, it goes to seven, no, that's fine. 14, let, let, let him finish, and then we'll deal with it. That's fine. We'll answer your question. Apparently, according to his scholar, it goes up to possibly fifty. At one point, around the 10th century. Which which scholar? So, <laughs> Hashim. So, let him speak so and and see. Listen, just like, where is the mission? I just want to know why. He speak so, to me, right? Because well, the brother invited me. Yeah. Um. So speak well, to me, Dave. Who knows more about yeah. it? So I will. It's I will not right now. It to, uh, to, to so, so basically, yeah. So basically, what I want to know is, it seems like there's a history uh, from what I've, I've looked at, like yeah. on YouTube. So yeah. if if unless he's lying. That is that is a possibility because I don't know the chap in per personally, but from the way he was talking, it goes from uh, lots of different Qurans suddenly to being qualified into only a couple, into a few. Then it seems to expand again, and people seem to be quite, people seem to apparently are quite happy with the expansion of Qurans, and then uh, it seems to be uh, put down to like 14, so uh, or 10, and then 14, so. I'm just wondering what's happening. How how does this happen? Sure. And why? Why does? Would you like to know the answer? Oh, that's what I'm asking. Very good. So now let's go back to Yasir Qadi because you've watched his. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Why are you interrupting no, no, no. what I'm speaking? I've Excuse me, Dave. Question. Dave. I'm answering you, but Dave. You have to give okay. him the chance. He, try to. Yeah behave in a civilized way so i tried to listen to you when i interrupted you and i apologize for interrupting in the beginning so i let you speak yeah. you've made your question and i've listened to it okay right in my head i've made points okay now you started by saying you also listened to a scholar and yeah. you've named that scholar dr yasir qadi and there's another um, one called uh, yes um, <laughs> oh oh dear Said I, said I something, I can't remember his name, but go on, yeah. It's no problem, you can remember, you can remember this name. I don't know who, who you're talking to, uh, right. talking about, but that's fine. Yeah. So you've watched Dr. Yasir Qadi. Um, so, so what? I've seen, I've seen a two, two different scholars. Uh, one, Would you like one, to let so, me speak? Yeah, um, I'm just saying, I just want to clarify. I've, no. two scholars I've seen two scholars sure. talking yes. about the Qurans. Yeah. Okay, so obviously... They're, fine, they're, good. They're experts in the Quran, apparently. Uh, uh, so, wait, stop there, stop there, stop, so stop, stop. Dave, stop there. Yasir Qadi, what is his expertise? Dr. Uh, Yasir Qadi. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming he's a... Uh, Why you assume? In, in Why you assume? You should, once you know someone is a scholar, for example, there was a guy that used to well, come here. One moment. Well, Why are you sorry. interrupting when I'm speaking? Oh, no, Excuse me. me so I'm just, I just okay, something. so go ahead. What is his specialty in? I saw Yasser Qadi particularly in an interview with... Uh, no, I'm, I'm asking you a simple question. I'm asking you a simple question. I question. I saw that chap in a dialogue. I'm asking you a very simple question. White, so. Very simple question. Yeah. Well, his highest level of education, where is it from? What university? Uh, brother, brother, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. Dr. James White. What is his specialty, do you know? Yeah, well, he's an apologist, particularly. Apologist, fine. Yeah, yeah. What is his specialty of Dr. Yasir Qadi? I don't know. Well, he, apparently he did... Don't say apparently. Either you know or you don't. Well, apparently he went to Saudi Arabia. No, no, excuse me. Apparently, there is no such thing apparently. If no, someone is a scholar, are you, are you to allow me to finish my Yasir point. Excuse me. No, are you saying you don't know who he is? And no, no, it's not me or... that I don't know. I'm asking you. Well, no, no, so, it's important because you're saying... But I know who he is. I know what his specialty is. Dave, will be easy if Dave, you said I don't know. So, so here, is, here is the clarification that's needed. When you put forward Yasir Qadi as a specialist in the Quran, so I'm going to ask you once again, once more, to make it clear, right? Hear my question. When people become a scholar and they specialize, they specialize in a very specialized subject. Yeah. For example, 
once you do your PhD, this is your specialization. And then you can further specialize within the field of what you've done in your thesis, right? You can sp further specialize. Yeah. So do you know what was the thesis of his PhD on what specialty, number one? Secondly, what is his specialty that he understands to be his specialty? Okay. Now, you have the option to now, say no. I don't know. What I want to know is. Uh, I'm asking you a very simple oh, question. No, no, no. The simple. I want the simple answer. Yeah. To. No, I'm right. asking you the question. Are they right? Excuse me. No. Wrong? There is no running no, no, away no, no, from no, this no, discussion. No, no, no. There isn't. Here. Are they right? Here. Or are they wrong? Excuse me, That's Dave. What I need to know. Dave. So you need to if you are me. interested in a political oh. discussion, you've come to the wrong listen, platform. Listen. If you are sincere. Uh, and you're willing to learn and engage in a discussion in but an academic not, manner, and you sincerely want to know about the subject, yeah. then you need to clarify this question. Yeah, no, 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 no. Do you I know the questions. specialty I of Dr. Questions. Yasser Qadi? You are deflecting the, what I'm asking. I'm asking simple okay. questions. The audience who are listening, do you understand my question? I'm asking. Good. I'm ask, I'm so asking the question I'm asking is, if I bring, no, if no, I no, bring, no, no, no. I'm asking questions about your history, chronic history. I'm trying to answer them for you. No, you're not. You're talking about yes, I can. You're talking about all this. You're Who brought you up? Who brought you up? You're talking about everything. Who brought him up? Listen. I will listen. About, but can you answer? Did you bring him up? You are talking about everything other than what I've asked. But I'm no, trying no, no, to answer. No, 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 you're deflecting. How am I deflecting? deflecting. Enlighten me. How am I deflecting? I've asked the questions. Yeah. You're deflecting. Okay. Can I answer now? Okay, no. You're ah. deflecting. It appears he doesn't know the qualification. Okay. Maybe you can just tell him. You are deflected. I've asked simple questions. No, no, no. About, Never give them the answers. Wrong? Let them do some homework. Okay. I've asked you questions for you to answer. Those right. Those Let me now answer you. So okay. Now I want the, the answers. Let me answer you. Let me answer you. Let me answer you. In support of your claim, you brought a scholar. The scholars. Two you? scholars. Didn't scholars. Okay. When you say two scholars. Yeah. Um, you don't remember the name. You don't remember the name of the other scholar. But what is his specialty? You don't know, or do you know? I don't know. No. Fine. So, when you bring a support for an assertion or a statement that you make for yeah. a claim, and you don't even know wh whether they're qualified or not on that subject, we can just rest assured, leave them aside for the time being until you can demonstrate that in a court of law. When you bring a witness, okay, okay, hey, let me finish. I have not finished yet. I have not finished. When you bring a witness in a court of law, I have not finished. When you bring a witness in a court of law, and the judge wants to know, is the witness? Are you? Why are you interrupting? Why are you interrupting? I am answering. So listen. So in a court of law, when an witness is invited to provide. Excuse this me, corner, Dave, questions, Dave, and if someone reflects, Dave, if someone wants a simple answer, the whole world is watching you. I don't care. You don't so, care? Don't the whole world is going to judge you by what you are saying and what you are doing and how you are behaving. You but I am I putting things issue. straight. So let me finish. Right. No, no, so, wait, wait, wait. Just answer the question. I am. You don't you understand? I'm answering. You're not, you're so be here patiently. So here is how I answer. So, allow me to finish. Right. So when you, when you, brother, brother, please, thank you very much. I don't need any support. When you bring a support for your statement, an evidential support in a court of law, uh, let me finish. If you keep on interrupting, then you better walk away because you're not willing to have a dialogue in knowledge and sincerity. Because I can, if you are, then let me finish then. Okay. I'll take two minutes to make my point. Okay. What time if you want. When we want to support our statement, like in a court of law, when somebody says, I know this okay. is what happened, uh, you two minutes and you can't even, subhanAllah, oh two minutes, two minutes. So when the court summons a professional an expert for corroborating a statement or something with their professional judgment, they can't just bring Tom Dick and in the street to provide, say, I'm a cardiac surgeon. And I know when this guy has operated, uh, being operated on his heart, that's where the malfunction was or the error of judgment was of that surgeon who operated it. So I can tell you as a second opinion or an expert, the operation was done incorrectly. Let me finish, not two minutes yet. Well, what's wrong with you? Now, so, thank you. So don't just be agitated then. So when you bring support for your claims, an expert, we need to first understand 
is this person an expert or not? You can't just bring any person who supposedly, you know, is well known. I can bring, for example, Tony Blair, he's well known worldwide as an expert in the Quranic sciences. But that is not going to be acceptable. Why? His fame doesn't count. What counts is his professional knowledge and expertise. So, you started by claiming that you have a scholar who said oral transmission isn't reliable. Two questions I ask. And I am not going to move away from these two questions unless you answer them. Or you say, I don't know. What is this expertise of Dr. Yasir Qadi? In what specialty? Secondly, secondly, where does he say in his interviews or in his lectures that oral transmission of the Quran is not reliable, as you said? Those of you who are joining us late, go back to the video and rewind and say he made that statement. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, okay. Uh, still, still, after all this, right? I asked, I was asking the Muslim about what I saw, just in a simple conversation, hoping for a simple answer, okay? So, now get Mansour, is it Mansour, what's your name? What's your name, sorry? Carry on, I'm listening. Why am, I, why am I supposed to interrupt? I'm asking what your name is, Mansour. So, I get Mansour, so I asked him this, the same stuff, and what do I get? I still haven't got an answer. He's spoken for, what, 15, 20 minutes. But is he giving well, me an answer? I think he made answer? a claim and he was trying to clarify he, your no, no, claim wait, wait, was wait, incorrect. Wait. Is he giving me an answer to a query I've got? Okay, so I don't know much of Islam, I've already said that. Okay, so I'm expecting an answer. And after a lot of talking and a lot of stuff, he still hasn't given me an answer. Where is he in the platform? He will answer you. So why there's like 25, <laughs> at some point, to 50 Qurans, this particular chap was talking about in his dialogue on YouTube, and he's a Muslim scholar. So, while I'm not an expert and I hold my hands up not to be an expert... It's clearly obvious fine. you're not. That's fine. No, you don't have to be an expert. I've got questions from experts that still haven't been answered. He's here. Apart from lots of deflections. Okay. So what is the expert so, in? And where so, did he say what you say? So ultimately, I still haven't... I don't know, you seem to be an expert. Uh, Never claimed to be one. I still haven't got an answer though. So I question. think the discussion will soon end it, it because, will be because you're waffling your waffling doesn't benefit anyone. No, I no, came to no, give no, you an opportunity, remember? You're, you're I didn't no come and say, you're no, no, I am now talking. I am now talking. Listen, I am no now talking. No Dave, I am talking. Words. So learn how to behave and talk. No, if no. you don't know how to talk, then perhaps you need to go back to... No, no, I was hoping that you at least understand how we talk to each other. If you don't even know how to talk to people, then first lesson is learn how to talk. Second lesson is, Ask if you don't know. Third I've lesson asked. is, third lesson is, ask, asked. ask sincerely. Asked. I have asked. Right. I was talking sincerely to the person I was originally right. talking to. Right, go ahead. And, and the second per Answer person. Answer the questions that I asked. And the second person Dave, I was talking to. Dave, enough waffling. Okay. Now, what is his specialty? No, no, do, you, do you know? Excuse me, don't tell me. Do you know? I'm explaining Do you know his specialty? So don't do say you know? Excuse do me. you know his specialty? Don't show me disrespect. Okay. okay. Those of you who are listening, how many times have I asked this question? What is the specialty of Dr. Okay. Yasir Qadi? And, and did you hear an answer? Anybody watching, anybody watching, he still has an answer to the question. He still has an answer to the question that I had about how many crowds. Thank you very much. I don't waste people, you know, who come here for jokes. Coming for jokes. Sorry. Sorry, people. I don't, I'm not a time waster for people who are jokers and comedians. Dan, I want to know what happened.